Welcome back to XRP Vault, where we offer you the latest and most exciting XRP news. We're giving away 10,000 XRP to anyone who watch. All you have to do to be eligible is upvote, subscribe, make a comment, and watch the video till the conclusion. The winners will be chosen next week and announced on the channel's community page. Kevin, the Shark Tank host, indicated that the cryptocurrency market has not yet found bottom. Nonetheless, he feels a surrender is both required and beneficial before crypto can see another long-term game. In this video, we'll look at what Libra means by this and how excellent this nice thing is, but remember that when Kevin says something is good, it has to be good. After all, he is a multimillionaire. On Thursday, June 16, 2022, the price of Bitcoin fell to $20,755. It nearly surpassed $23,000 after U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell warned investors that the institution is committed to its present monetary hawkishness. Following the Fed's 75 basis point hike in interest rates, he remarked during a news conference comparable to how Seoul and Doge recovered to pre-rally levels despite having made the most substantial gains during the rally, jumping by up to 16%. Because of the tensions between Russia and Ukraine, each XRP is the same, while the U.S. records significant inflation rates. Since January, markets have been nervous. The U.S. stock index's NASDAQ, S and AMP wink with tongue sticking out 500, and Dow Jones Industrial have traditionally been a derivative of the Bitcoin market, and all three witnessed comparable declines in December and January. Prices have risen since then. Last week's negative news feed, on the other hand, led the key indexes to be rejected at their major moving averages. Future price gains in the stock market and cryptocurrencies will necessitate a catalyst, which might range from a large reduction in political instability to a few Fed rate hikes or a comeback in consumer confidence indexes. If there is a lengthy adverse news cycle, a new black swan event akin to the market plunge in March 2020 may arise in the coming days. Following the previous Fed meeting in May, a same circumstance occurred at the moment when Powell will discuss the rate rise during the post-meeting press conference. Both equities and cryptocurrencies rebounded the next day as reality sank in, but given the lack of a positive outlook and decreasing liquidity, this is likely not the bottom. According to Affinity CEO Han Su, we will witness declining yields in the crypto market across all assets as interest rates rise. Borrowing has become essential for everyone dealing in the cryptocurrency market, whether it is traders trying to benefit from contango or market makers looking to arbitrage between exchanges and commodities future price rises above the current price and contango. According to Sue, given the cryptocurrency market's recent shrinking gap and fading contango, institutions have less incentive to adopt those strategies, reducing their demand for borrowing. Because of everything described above, as well as the status of the market, high-yield suppliers will be forced to dramatically reduce their prices. So, according to Kevin O'Leary, a multi-billionaire investor and Shark Tank host, the crypto market has not yet touched bottom. Still, capitulation is required and beneficial before cryptocurrency may experience another long-term benefit. When a market or investment falls, a huge surge in selling pressure develops, signifying widespread investor defeat. Kevin O'Leary, better known as Mr. Wonderful on ABC Shark Tank, has stated that he purchases Bitcoin when the price falls. O'Leary has stated that he will just raise his holdings in X, TP Bitcoin, and Ethereum, as well as other cryptocurrencies associated to those three projects, because he sees the current drop in cryptocurrency prices as a positive indicator. He admitted that not all of his investment will be profitable, despite the fact that the entrepreneur's portfolio includes 32 cryptocurrency holdings, including Solana and Polygon. In addition, O'Leary-backed cryptocurrency trading startup Fi just made history by becoming the first company to trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange. His whole portfolio now includes a Bitcoin exposure of 16%, down from 20%. Six months ago, because to the sluggish market in Bitcoin Avalanche, as well as shares and FTX itself, O'Leary announced that he had already made. The businessman believes that if regulatory stability improves, Bitcoin adoption in the United States will skyrocket. When that occurs, he believes that investment in the Bitcoin sector will rise. 
he projected that businesses will invest in Bitcoin before moving on to other cryptocurrencies, and that as a result, Bitcoin's price might rise to $300,000 or more. Terra's recent collapse, according to Leary, is the sort of incident that teaches traders to be cautious and can assist digital assets progress because no one will utilize their notion anymore. The crash taught everyone that this was not the method he promised for creating a stable coin. According to Illyria, fewer company ventures fail to sustain market reinforcement and failures can assist identify market bottoms since a spectacular capitulation will announce the beginning of a comeback. Contrary to popular belief, most businesses do not hold any XRP or other cryptocurrencies and they will not until their compliance division allows the ESG demands to be ticked off on these and then comply with the asset class on its own. According to O'Leary, the king is now on the balance sheets of a number of firms, including MicroStrategy Tesla Blog, Marathon Digital Holdings, and KMPG. Several Canadian investors possess the XRP risk. So, is XRP on the verge of capitulation? Well, this is an answer that has divided opinion, as he was a crypto aficionado. Vima appears unimpressed. I'm not alleging anything is wrong, he says, since the Fed won't be commanded to stop murdering until Biden does. It could go either way. In addition to being murdered by inflation, the Democrats will be slain by the stock market crash and the housing bubble, which is going to explode, taking with it a major portion of their boomer voter base's wealth. Consequently, you are condemned whether you act or not. However, millions of individuals, as well as hundreds of corporations and institutions, are presently involved in cryptocurrencies, and no one will say that cryptocurrency is dead if we collapse by 90%. You'll regret it. If you use that as a buying indication, it is more beneficial to examine the upside and comprehend that Bitcoin at 50000 30000 or 10000 does not matter in comparison to its final price when we reach and surpass gold's market cap, and that any time is a good moment to purchase if you are in it for the long haul. They don't comprehend the concern of catching the bottom if you aren't and are trying to flip coins for a quick profit. Anyone with such perspective doesn't have a lot of financial intelligence, therefore I'm not worried about their future in the leasing. A random Reddit user desires for the whole cryptocurrency market to fall. To be honest, I want the entire cryptocurrency industry to crash, complete with GameStop and empty marketplace centralized exchanges, scams, frauds, and weak currencies. I know this is already a meme, but this is the finest development for cryptocurrencies in my opinion. The man suggested getting rid of all the bad apples and starting anew. But here's the good news. In a recent research, the World Bank referred to XRP and XLM as stable currencies. Surprisingly, no one has reported this in the crypto media. Consistent coins are a type of digital currency that has a reasonably stable pricing. Stable coins, like many cryptocurrencies, provide rapid processing and payment security. They also give stability in terms of their parity with fiat currencies to digital currencies that fall into this category. Both Ripple and Stellar Networks currencies, XRP from RippleNet and Stellar Lumen XL Loan, allow quicker and more efficient cross-border payments connected to correspondent banking. They vary, however, in that the initial goal is to enhance cross-border settlements between multinational banks. The second, on the other hand, attempts to offer low-cost cross-border payment financial services to end-users and the non-banking population. Because XRP will ultimately be used to produce new currencies, it must be pretty trustworthy. In actuality, the XRP ledger will connect the physical and digital worlds. If you're familiar with cryptocurrencies, you'll see right immediately that XRP and XLM aren't even close to being stable currency. Yes. Before making large price swings, XRP typically oscillates between price ranges over lengthy periods of time. However, it does not appear to be a stable currency due of these oscillations. It's okay that many XRP detractors refer to XRP with the disparaging name stable currency. Even if it's not accurate, jumping from $0.25 cents to $3.84 in just over 20 days is everything from steady. That was the case with XRP in 2017. So, can we just chuckle at the absurdity of stable coins, which relate to the US dollar as if it were stable? 
Your money is presently losing 7% of its purchasing value every year, and this trend is likely to continue. It was difficult to define the dollar's 7% fluctuation as steady, 